So the first part of what I do is um, I have to fill out paperwork uh, for our transports. So people fill out online. We have a, an online spreadsheet which you fill out all of your information on. And it comes to me, I'll just flash it so we're not getting anybody's information out there. It comes to me like that, and then I take uh, one of our papers here. This is our Operations Bay Bay paperwork. We take these, and notice I have a huge stack of them here because we have to fill out lots of paperwork all the time. Uh, we fill them out, we get them done as much as we possibly can, so whenever the owners arrive with their animals for drop off for boarding, which is tonight, or in the morning for transport, all they have to do is basically sign saying that they read and understood uh, the conditions listed above, which is the normal, uh, you know, that your, your animals are going into surgery and such. So I'm going to get back to doing that because that's a lot of work and right now we've got 20 animals that are going on transport again tomorrow so I've got 20 forms to fill out and get them all corrected and done in order for us to be ready for the arrivals tonight and tomorrow morning. <laughs> At the bottom here, <clears throat> it, uh, it asks us about what they want to have done because your animals can have you know, rabies, uh, distemper parvo vaccines, bordetella vaccines, heartworm tests. Uh, cats can have distemper vaccines, leukemia, uh, AIDS, leukemia, and heartworm tests, ear tipping, e collars, nail trims, dewormers, microchips, flea and heartworm preventions, and carriers. All of those are options, uh, plus there's many more, and those are all on our form. And we just fill this out down here and write them in uh, wherever they need to go. I take this eyeliner to make it easier whenever they're filling out the form to know what information we've missed and uh, that we need filled out on this form. It makes it a lot easier for people to just look exactly where you need them to. So, highlighted, making sure you're signing and you're marking off and you're dating everything where it needs to go. And that's one person's form. So I have to do that 20 different times. We are headed to the Borders house. It is 6.45 at night. We're heading over to the Borders house so we can get everybody checked in and get all of their paperwork signed as they're going to be dropping off some of their animals. Now, not all of the animals come on border night, uh, the night before transport, but a lot of them do. So then in the morning, that's whenever we come back at 3.30 in the morning and we load them all up from the Borders house and uh, take them to Animal Hospital at Tiger Point. Uh, to get onto the neuter commuter from there, the big van, the big uh, cargo van from there. Uh, so right now, I, I don't even remember how many, there's probably going to be 8 to 10 animals that we're going to be checking in right now whenever we get there. And we'll get them all safe and secure. Okay, so... We're gonna go inside the house right now. We're at the Borders house right now. We're gonna go in and we're gonna check in all the animals and get everybody to sign their paperwork. So. You got them? Come on in. Okay, right here, we'll slide that down.
done dropping off the animals at the boarder's house. We had 13 animals that we dropped off there tonight, which it never matters how many animals we have, but we definitely have to show back up again at 3.30 in the morning, and we will load up all 13 of those kennels and take them over to Animal Hospital of Tiger Point. Right now it is 8 p.m. It is freezing cold outside, and uh, everything went smoothly. And we're really excited about this transport. So this will be it for tonight. And we'll see you again in the morning. Good morning. It is 3.30 in the morning. And we are headed over to the boarder's house to pick up. We had 13 animals that spent the night last night. We're going to pick up the 13 uh, animals that spent the night last night. And we're going to get them boarded into the van, into the minivan. So we can head out to Animal Hospital Tiger Point. So we're headed to Pace right now gonna pick them up gonna have them loaded up hopefully by 4 a.m. and then get over to Tiger Point we have to be over there by 4 30 a.m. Tiger Point in Pensacola. We just use their parking lot, so we don't use the vet's office. We use their parking lot because they've allowed us uh, to use that space in the mornings. In the afternoons, we use the Blue Water Plaza parking lot, which is right next door to the vet's office. And it's just a pick up and drop off point. Uh, we don't actually go inside either one of those venues. We'll get there uh, hopefully for. We're supposed to be there at 4.30, which we're right on time. It's 4 a.m. right now. We'll be there at 4.30, and we stay there from 4.30 to 5. The neuter commuter loads up at 5 a.m., and they head out to Panama City. That's, that's what direction we're going in right now. So 4 o'clock in the morning, and we're headed to Tiger Point Animal Hospital of Tiger Point right now. to Sandestin, right right in front of the Sandestin Gulf and Beach Resort. We're going to go meet the neuter commuter back at Applebee's parking lot just to 
pick up our 15 cats that we dropped off uh, with them this morning and bring them back up this way. So it'll be another couple of hours before we get there. It's about an hour and a half to two hours from, um, from where we are. So we've got to drive to go get them. Uh, everything's gone great. We haven't gotten any phone calls. Nothing was uh, out of the blue odd or anything like that. So we're really excited about that and we'll continue to update. All 15 of our cats are loaded up. We have not left the parking lot yet. Um, we've secured all the cats into, into place and they all came back healthy and great and no negative feedback, which is what we want to hear. All the incisions are fantastic. Um, they always do a beautiful, beautiful job uh, with Operation Spay Bay. They're fantastic. We actually only had one today that we thought was a female and it is a male, but that's to be expected. Happens all the time with ferals because you can't really tell what ferals are until you actually trap them. So that's okay. So don't be afraid of not knowing what sex uh, your feral or your stray is because it happens all the time. I've got a few people that will leave reviews if you want them to and tell you that it happens all the time and it's okay. So we're headed back now. It is two o'clock in the afternoon. We are out in Sandustin, uh, right in front of the Gulf and Beach Resort. So we're, we'll be back over into Tiger Point probably about 3.30 or 4 o'clock, which from 4 o'clock to 4.30 is when the pickup time is in uh, the Blue Water Plaza shopping center that's right next to Animal Hospital of Tiger Point. So we will see you soon.
pickups from the Blue Water Plaza in Tiger Point. Uh, people there were very nice to let us use their parking lot. Thank you, Blue Water Plaza. We appreciate that. And now we are heading back to the Borders house. We've got to go back to the Borders house uh, to reunite the last, um, math is off, 12 cats with their owners now. And everybody did great today and everybody's actually really quiet so this has been a great trip so far uh, it's 4 30 right now so now we're on our way there and we're supposed to be there from 5 to 5 30. whenever we got back to the house was we um, gave them all their paperwork we always review all the surgery instructions and the post-op instructions and um, anything that's happened with their animal while they were over at Operation Spay Bay we make sure everybody understands it and we send them on their way with their animals and everything was great today we had a fantastic day, so that's 15 more animals that have been fixed today in uh, Santa Rosa County, and we're really happy about that. So, until next time.